It's a race to see which scientist can build the robot. Match the color, match the parts, 15 minutes or less. This is Robot Lab. All right, today we're checking out Robot Lab. Now this is on Kickstarter right now, and we actually do a lot of Kickstarter previews on this channel, so if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you click that button. And then we do regular video reviews. Uh, every week we drop one on Thursday, so uh, stick around for that. But today we're taking a look at Robot Lab. Now this is a card game. Uh, two to five people who plays in about 15 minutes. So it's a quick game, it's easy to teach. The, the recommended ages are six and up, and I have a six-year-old who adores this game. So let's Let's take a closer look so you can see what this game is all about. All right, so this is what you get in the game with Robot Labs. This is a card game, so you're going to get a bunch of cards. Let me teach you how to play the game real quick. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to pick a robot body. My kids always fight over this to see who gets to be red. Today, Daddy wins, and I get to be red. You'll draw up to your hand size, which is typically five cards, right? And then on your turn, you can play a card. So I've got a few cards here. I've got a head card that actually matches my robot. I've got a rainbow card here that would be a wild. And then I've got two other parts. So I've got a leg and an arm, but these do not match my robot color, so I can't really use these. And then I've got a special card that lets me uh, play this when somebody is going to win, or I can, I can make them scrap a part. So on my turn, let's just go ahead and match my robot head. There you go. That matches. And then I get to discard. Now I can discard any number of cards as long as they're the same color. So I have two cards here, so I would discard those. And then I draw back up to my hand size, which would be five. So, oh, look at that. I got a, a leg. So that's going to be helpful next round. So that's how it works. Play continues and I go around. You play a card, you discard cards, you draw back up to your hand side hand size, and then it's the next person's turn. So what other kind of cards are there in the game? There are rainbow cards, wild cards that could be used for any part. So I could make this a leg or an arm if I wanted it to be, right? Uh, then you also have um, dig in the trash card. So this lets me look through this trash pile right here and find, look, there's a leg I need. And so I could attach that to my, go my guy. Uh, and then there's an error card that lets me stop somebody from playing a card. I don't want you to play that leg card. I could throw out my error card and then you have to scrap it. And then there's the robot research card, which my son loves the most. Um, I can dig through here, or I take the top seven cards of the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoosh. And then I turn them over and I look and I say, hey, I need that arm. And I can take and put that in there. Um, so that's pretty much all the cards that there are in the game and the play will continue until I have successfully built my robot. If I have built my robot, everybody else gets a chance to maybe play one of these cards. If they don't have one of these cards in their hand, then I win. So that's it. That's Robot Lab. I told you it was easy. It is quick to teach. Plays really quick. You can play multiple rounds of this. And here's why I like this game, right? We got this in the mail. I showed it to my six-year-old son. He said, robots? I get to build robots? This is awesome. And so he dove into it. And now we got this game just a few days ago in the mail, and I bet we played it 12 times since then, maybe more than that. He asks for it every single day. He wants to play. It's easy to understand, and he likes it. Now, here's the catch, right? Um, it, this is not just an Uno game where you just match the colors and you play them down. Uh, these three cards, the malfunction, dis, dig in the trash, disable, those cards right there make the game totally, they totally make it, right? I even think that there's another one, like error. Yeah, there's an error error card. Um, but those right there make it. And my six-year-old totally gets it, right? Like I had it, and there's a research card too. Uh, my six-year-old, as soon as he sees the research card, he knows he gets to dig through the deck and find seven cards and he plays that. He he loves the these uh, cards with the exclamation marks on them because he knows if daddy builds his full robot, I'm going to hold on to that and play it at the right time. And then the kid even gets the concept of my dad needs this green arm, so I'm going to hold on to it. I'm not going to discard it because he could have the dig in the trash cart. And so for me as a dad, I just love it. I love being able to see my son 
get the concept of what these cards do and then being able to play them. And it's not a mindless game. This isn't a game where I just draw a card, play a card. You know, being able to discard your cards at the end and draw back up to your hand size means that you're cycling through a whole lot of cards as the game plays. And that's great. That, that, that gets you going. That gets to that 15 minute time mark. Um, the only long game that I've played was probably at 15 minutes. And that was because we kept drawing these cards and we kept messing with people, right? And they had to discard their card. But because you're pulling so many cards every time, you're able to get back to what you want. And a few turns later, somebody won the game. So highly, highly, highly recommended. I think you ought to get this. The price point is perfect on this one. This is definitely one that I want to have in my collection so that I can play with my kids. So there you go. That's Robot Lab. Thank you.